If you're picking up the salt shaker, put it back down because you're probably already getting way too much salt in your diet. Salt is a critical element. It's very important for proper fluid balance in our bodies. And it also is very important for proper nerve and muscle function. But excessive consumption of salt in our diet can be very detrimental to our health. It's directly tied to an increased risk for high blood pressure, and also excessive salt can increase your risk for heart disease, strokes, and kidney disease. And in fact, a Canadian study has recently shown that if you consume too much salt and you don't exercise very much, that that can dramatically increase your risk for dementia. So table salt is made up of about 40% sodium and about 60% chloride. So how much sodium should you be getting every day? Well, the current guidelines say no more than 2,300 milligrams, and that's about the amount that you'd get in a teaspoon. But if you're over the age of 50, if you're African American, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or kidney disease, you ought to get much less, about 1,500 milligrams. But unfortunately, the average American is consuming about twice that amount, or 3,400 milligrams a day. So where are we getting all that? Well, about 75% of the excess of sodium that we consume every day comes from processed foods, things like bread, canned soups, deli cuts and cold meats, things like that, as well as tomato sauce and condiments like ketchup. So what's the secret for cutting back on your salt? We don't eat processed foods. You want to have as freshly prepared food as possible. Don't add salt to the recipe and get that salt shaker off the table. If you want to spice up your food, use herbs, things like lemon juice. And don't think that sea salt has less sodium than table salt. It actually has the very same amount. So remember, a little bit of sodium or a little bit of salt goes a long way.